Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1965 Morris Mini Traveller that has 715 horsepower, 466 pounds feet of torque from a 2.3 litre inline 4 turbocharged engine and the vehicle itself weighs 1582 pounds it's now got off-road suspension, rally tyres and all-wheel drive and it can do not 63.105 seconds not to 105.367 seconds and going to a top speed of 158 miles an hour. So I know we've uh, had plenty of minis in this series in the last few weeks, but yeah, be interesting to see what this uh, much older mini will do in comparison to the other minis, because obviously they were far newer, and two of those three minis actually went into the top ten of the uh, leaderboard. So uh, yeah, we'll be interested to see what this car can do, because it is a lot lighter than those two modern minis. It does have a little bit extra power, though uh, less torque than those minis, and uh, yeah, it's obviously a lot smaller as well, but unlike uh, the uh, the uh, racing countryman and the uh, standard countryman, this was never meant for all-wheel drive, certainly wasn't meant for this level of power, and uh, yeah, also wasn't meant for doing any of this kind of off-roading, whereas those two, you know, had more power in stock form, and obviously you had all-wheel drive st uh, stock, and uh, yeah, also uh, could go off-roading to some extent so uh, yeah gonna be interesting but for the most part it is really rather controllable for the most part so uh, yeah let's hopefully keep that control the yeah, big worry with obviously lightweight cars like this is that they can get trucked around a fair bit that's why it's sometimes better to have a slightly heavier car but for now it's been pretty stable Even though it's not got the best top speed, it does at least mean it's able to, you know, get close to that or actually get to that in a fairly quick time. Probably will uh, hit the rev limiter on the uh, final part of this course, but at least it will mean we're doing around nearly 160. Oh dear. Oh, that's not going to help at all now, is it? Oh dear. Oh, damage the car a little bit cosmetically. Not the easiest thing we've had on this series to control, but it's hardly going to be the slowest vehicle we've had on this series, despite being well and truly out of its depth in many ways. So yeah, not quite as quick as I would have liked, but considering this is a lot older than uh, the other minis that we've had on this series, and uh, is obviously well out of its depth in several areas. 2 minutes 13.727 seconds is not half bad. And considering it's, you know, more of a, uh, you know, a, a comedy vehicle in some ways, it's done pretty well, to be honest. In fact, it's able to uh, match a similarly aged uh, Volkswagen double cab pickup, which is only 0 0.1 of a second or so slightly behind this one. Uh, it's also quicker than an also similarly aged MG, MGB GT. It's quicker than actually one of the new minis that we tried, the uh, 2018 Mini X-Ray John Cooper Works Buggy, which is uh, nearly a second slower than this, as well as quicker than the Porsche uh, Rally Raid. Uh, but it's slightly behind the uh, Morris Mini uh, 1000, which is older than this, as well as the Ferrari GTC4 Luso and the Ford Transit, which is from the same year as this. So, uh, yeah, sort of middle of the range, really, in, time, in terms of other cars in this series, but the fact it's quicker than a, uh, you know, a a mini that's not only newer than this but also made for going off road is uh, pretty remarkable so uh, yeah happy with that but yeah would have liked it to have been a bit more controllable so we could have been a bit quicker and obviously if we were a bit more controllable we would most likely wouldn't have hit that wall which did slow us down a bit but probably not by much probably about a second or so if that so uh, yeah still really rather impressed by it especially considering how far its depth it is like I said earlier nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.